Shalom. First and foremost, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to so you have a Bashem, you have a Shai Bashem, a Karkadash. Shalom to the uh, elders, Wa'aki and Wa'akwaf, and I say Shalom. And this is a uh, sit down lesson of uh, Second Edges, chapter 15, verse 1, and all the way to, let's see. I say all the way through verse 19. Right, sit down, lesson of a uh, second edger, chapter 15, verse 1 through verse 19. And this is the book of second edger, chapter uh, second edger, chapter 15, verse 1 through right, second edger, chapter 15, verse 1 of the apocryphal books of the holy scriptures. And it reads, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people, which is the Israelites, the words of prophecy. Which I put in thy mouth, saith the Lord Yahweh. Second Ezra 15 and verse 2 to cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful in truth. Second Ezra 15 and verse 3 Fear not the imagination against thee, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Right, that's why it says in uh, 2 Peter 3 and 3, also in the latter days, mockers and scoffers walking after their own lusts. And right along with uh, 2 Timothy, the third chapter, right along with uh, Isaiah 5, verse 20. And it says, uh, 2 Ezra, chapter 15, and verse 4. It says, uh, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. 2 Ezra, chapter 15, and verse 5. Behold, saith the Lord, Yahweh, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, the sword famine, death, and destruction. 2 Ezra, 15, and verse 6. For the wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Second Edges 15 and verse 7. Therefore saith the Lord Yahweh. Verse 8. It says, and I will hold my tongue no more. Rise of heavenly father is not going to hold his tongue no more. That's why prophecies are speaking. So the words of uh, prophecies of Yahweh of Israel is being shown forth. And just like... Uh, Second Edwards 9 and verse 2. So the Heavenly Father is definitely visiting this earth now more than ever. And so the Heavenly Father uh, shall not hold his tongue anymore, you know. Second Edwards 15 and verse 8. I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they'll profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise. That's why it says First John 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committed sin also transgressed the law. Exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent of the righteous blood cry out unto me, and the souls of the just complain continuously. Second Ezra 15 verse 9. Therefore saith the Lord Yahweh, I will surely avenge them and receive unto them me all the innocent blood from among them. Second Ezra 15 verse 10. Behold, my people is led a flock unto the slaughter, and I will not. Suffer them now to the will in the land of Egypt. Right, Zechariah. Zechariah 11 and verse 5, prime example. Uh, Second Ezra chapter 15 and verse 11. It says, But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a scratched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and destroy all the lands that were right, ancient Egypt. Now, this is uh, modern day Egypt spiritually. Because this, because the Heavenly Father is gonna say the remnant of His uh, people, which is in uh, Isaiah 11:11, 11, 11, verse 13, right along with uh, Zechariah 13, verse 8 as well too. Uh, Second Edges 15, verse 12. Egypt, Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plagues and punishment that Yahweh shall bring upon it. Right, just like he did in ancient Egypt, and he's doing it the second time in this modern day Egypt. Because uh, Ecclesiastes 1 and verse 9, there's no new thing under the sun. Uh, second Edges 15 and verse 13. They that tilt the ground shall mourn, for the sea shall fail through the blasting and hell and the fearful constellation. Second Edges 15 and verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Second Edges 15 and verse 15. 
for the sword and the destruction draw of nine, and one people should stand up and fight against another with swords in their hands, right? Great seditions, uprises, uproars in people of the world. Second Edges 15 verse 16. For there should be sedition among men, evading one another, which we are seeing right now. A nation not regard their kings, nor their princes, in the course of their actions, sustaining their power, right? Protests, seditions, uprises, uproars in people of the world. Uh, Luke 21 and verse 25, prime example. Second Edges 15 and verse 17. A man, such a, a man should desire to go into a city, should not be able to. Second Edges 15 and verse 18. For because of their pride, right, Proverbs 16 and verse 18. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, and the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Right, Matthew 24 verse 21. Jeremiah 30 and 7. 2 Timothy the third chapter, 2 Ezra the 15th chapter, which I'm reading now, uh, 2 Ezra the 16th chapter, and 2 Ezra chapter 8 and verse 50, prime example, and right along with the uh, Isaiah 19 and verse 2, Mark Mark 3 and 24, and through verse 25, 2 Ezra 15 and verse 19, a man should desire a salaki, a man should have no pity upon his neighbor, which we're seeing right now. But shall the score their houses with the sword, right, was the modern day weapon, because the sword is the modern day weapon, and spoil their goods, right, their food, stock, everything they got stocked in their house, um, you know, anything that's, that good, basic food necessities and items and stocks that they have, and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread, right, Matthews 24 and 21, Second Timothy 3rd chapter. Jeremiah 30 and 7 and for great tribulation yep, great tribulation because you look at the word uh, tribulation goes into great sufferings and great troublings great sufferings and great losses that's what the uh, word tribulation goes into so that Matthew's 24 verse 21 we're getting closer to that Jeremiah 30 and 7 getting closer to that right along with the uh, second Timothy the third chapter as well too as a prime example so with that, hopefully this uh, sit-down lesson was edifying of uh, Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 1 through verse 19. And that was the title of the sit-down lesson. So hopefully this uh, sit-down lesson was edifying. And with that, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to, to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem, Akar Kadash. Shalom to the uh, elders, well, again, well, Akwaf. Until next time, I will say Shalom.